Ew. Okay. Oh, I got my badge on. My badge on. Let's take that off. Let's open this so that it doesn't look like my forehead is just dark. Uh, let's turn off my car. I am so hungry, so here's what we got. I wasn't gonna record this. Like, I was just gonna eat my food in peace, you know? I'm literally outside my house. Like, you can see the houses in the background. But I was just gonna eat my food in peace, but then I was like, I need to record something. I literally don't film enough, which honestly, I probably do, but I don't. And so, instead of eating this in peace and quiet, like I would kind of want to, we're just gonna talk. It smells pretty good. I've never had this before. It, what is it called? Impossible breakfast sandwich, I think. And a chocolate croissant, which I love. I love chocolate croissants. And while it's warm, I will show you guys so we can eat. Why does it say ask me? Is that what he thought my name was? Wait, what is that? Ask me? Wait, huh? Warned. Ask me? What is that? Somebody who works at Starbucks, respond. I don't know what that is. It takes, takes, I'm um, takes, I'm dying to feel alive. Let's just take a photo with my foods. It's pretty warm right now. This is like a little post night shift foodie, foodie stuff. God, this thumbnail is gonna be too much if I just do this. I think I should just keep it in the bag. Keep it in the bag. Shoot, I don't know. Guys, I look really bad. This is what I look like after work. I mean, my hair is usually tied up after work. Look how greasy it is. Ugh. By the way, this is not made of meat. It's the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich, so it's no meat. It's like a plant-based sandwich. Um, it looks a little weird on camera, like the colors. Probably my camera settings. It's brown, and it looks kind of white on camera for some reason. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I was really hungry. My lunch at work last night that I ate at literally 10.30 p.m., it is now 8 a.m., was a tuna sandwich and a samosa. And that cheese is really melted on there. Oh, I bit the inside of my mouth. I accidentally brought the work phone home, so I need to text back the girl really quick asking me if I have it, and I do. That was geese, did you hear him? I don't want to sit here and just talk about my food the whole time. Me just sitting here and eating reminds me of that one YouTuber. I think his name is Matt Stoney, but let me check. Yes, him. He's a good looking guy. You know what I noticed? Is he has two different colored eyes. He just eats like an insane amount of food in his videos. And when I just sit here and eat one sandwich in front of you guys, I feel like Matt Stoney. You guys know, I don't usually keep my camera in my car. I got home, I went upstairs, I got my camera, and I came back down and sat in my car just to eat in front of you guys. The things I do for y'all. One of my favorite water bottles, guys, it's the, I think this is pronounced Takaya. Takaya? Takaya? Just listen to this. <sighs> I barely have any water left in there. Tonight I had five COVIDs. One of them came back negative. The rest of them were positive. One thing people don't realize about my job, and they just like glamorize it, is that we have to clean people's butts. It's now been 10 minutes and 19 seconds since I was recording. This was pretty good. 10 out of 10, I recommend it. I would get it again. Honestly, that was probably enough. But I'm gonna eat the croissant too. Some of us just want to be like Matt Stoney. This is nice. The guy there was nice too. He kind of talked to me a little bit. He asked me why I was just all right when I said I was all right. I'm pretty sure he said he was all right too. Whenever I'm at like at a retail place, the person's ringing me up or whatever. I always feel like this person actually doesn't want to be here. Pros and cons to every job, guys. Shoot, what did I want to tell you guys? Did I already say the guy was nice? I have bad memory. My coworker messaged me and she said that. She had an MSEP, and an MSEP, the person's heart stops, and so they have to call a whole code team, they have to do compressions and all that. My battery's about to die. This guy's heart stopped. I honestly didn't know whether he was dead or alive because she never finished telling me, but he was one of my patients that I had a week ago, and I figured it out. And when I came in today, <clears throat> I found out he was still alive because I forgot to take him off of my patients list last week, and so he was still on there this week when I came in. I really hope he's okay. All right, well, last thing, and then I'll leave. So I follow this nursing account. They posted this and I'm gonna say it word for word and then I'll leave you guys on that note. They upload like anonymous stories. I had a male patient with a TBI, traumatic bane, traumatic bane, traumatic, traumatic brain injury. I had a male patient with a TBI. He always went treasure hunting in his brief looking for chocolate after he shit. We were cleaning him up and had done a quick clean of his fingers, but hadn't done a good, great job. In my nightmares, I can still see as time slowed down, we turned him to change the soiled brief. He reached his arm over to grab the rail of the bed. It just says to grab the rail, but I'm trying to describe it to you guys. We turned him to change the soiled brief. He reached his arm over to grab the rail and his fingers went into my mouth. 
there wasn't there wasn't enough mouthwash in the back to make me ever feel clean again still one of the best days in my nursing career slow sunday with the best crew the patient was pretty chill and nice otherwise and lots of patient was pretty chill